as much as I care for Jen, as much as I love Jen, I really did feel like there was no other choice. Bachelorette's Devin Strader is speaking out and sharing his side of the story. Just one week after the shocking After the Rose reunion special, where it was revealed that Devin had broken up with Bachelorette Jen Tran, the 28-year-old is now telling his side of the story. In a 13-minute video he shares to Instagram on September 10th, Devin acknowledges the reaction of Bachelor Nation. Hey y'all, um, I know there are plenty of people upset with me right now, but um, I wanted to come on here and hopefully try to give a little more context to the situation due to the things being said about me. Um, all I'm looking to do here is tell my side, take accountability, and apologize for some of the things that uh, I wasn't able to say at AFR. Devin goes on to defend himself after Jen revealed he dumped her on a 15-minute phone call in early August. Another big thing that I wanted to address was that I broke up with Jen over a 15-minute phone call. Um, on the day that we broke up, I wasn't acting weird. I really wanted to get to that happy couple and have that conversation with her in person. The rest of this really just shows the text the morning of our breakup and subsequently uh, the fallout that happens after afterwards. Um, as you can see, there are multiple different occasions where I do say that I really want to meet up in person to say this. She basically forces this out of me. She says that I call her, um, which was not the case, at which point I did feel the need that I owed her that conversation. Devin also responds to Jen's claim that he began pulling away from the relationship after the couple left Hawaii engaged. He says that he only started to pull away weeks after their breakup when he was trying to move on with his life. I wanted to also address Jen's false claims that I was immediately pulling away from the relationship as soon as we left Hawaii. Um, I want to be showing you guys, disclaimer, I'm going to be showing you guys um, the, the phone calls from the day after our breakup, August 5th, and every phone call uh, there afterwards leading up to AFR. Our last phone conversation was actually just under two weeks prior to stepping out on that stage uh, on the 3rd of September. Throughout his video, Devin shares text messages and details of his relationship with Jen, even clarifying why he felt the need to share the private messages between him and the former bachelorette. Um, disclaimer again, this is my truth, and by no means am I looking to denounce Jen in any way, by no means am I looking to come at her in any way or say anything negative about her. All I'm trying to do here is show that this was a two-way relationship, and I think we could both be held accountable. In the lengthy video, Devin says that he hopes by speaking out, he's able to correct the inaccuracies that have been floating around about their relationship. It's important to highlight the highs and the lows of our, uh, our in inner workings of what went on in between our relationship and while we were together. Uh, there's a lot of false narratives being pushed um, about that right now, and there's a lot of false statements being given out. Um, so I'm really here to set the record straight, and hopefully I can do that by providing a little bit of clarity into the day-to-day -day lives that Jen and I experienced while we were together. And to Jen, I really, really am sorry for the way things played out. My intentions were to never hurt you, and I'm sorry for that hurt that I've caused. As for Jen, she reveals on the September 10th episode of Caitlin Bristow's Off the Vine podcast that she did reach out to Devin one last time, following the After the Final Rose special. Have you guys spoken since that night on the live finale? I'm going to be honest, like... I had reached out to him after and just like wanted to wish him the best and and um, um, and then I started getting DMs from girls and all that stuff that made me upset and I just like I I was done so I we haven't talked no after that I'm like there's no there's no excusing for that behavior so I'm done. Okay.